Hi everyone, today we're going to be making donuts using the Gourmet Gadget Treat 3-in-1 Sweet Snack Maker which I've been given to review. Now you can also make cake pops in this and cupcakes but today we're just going to be making the mini ring donuts in it. What we've got is the ingredients for a basic dough mix and to that we're going to be adding ingredients to make a sweet mix and also a savoury mix. So we have 230 grams of self-raising flour and a teaspoon of baking powder and we have 125 grams of butter and one egg and then as I say we'll also be adding sweet and savoury ingredients to that to make the doughnuts. So first off we're going to start by warming up the doughnut maker. If you close the lid on it you'll see a green light which means that it's heating up and when that green light goes out it's ready. So we begin with the egg and the butter. We put those together in a bowl and mix them up with a hand whisk. Next we're going to take those wet ingredients and put them into another bowl containing the flour and the baking powder and whisk those up as well, super quick. Then we add some milk. There's no precise amount on this. All you need to do is add enough to take it to a sort of dropping consistency. Next, we're going to add the bacon. This is the pre-cooked bacon that you can buy in supermarkets. It's really nice and crisp and crunchy and perfect for this recipe. Add that to the cheese and half of the dough mixture which we made earlier and combine all of it together in a bowl. Now we're going to take our mixture and add it to the donut maker. I'm using a piping bag here which makes it look really neat and tidy. Um, the bit I've edited out is actually putting the mixture into the piping bag which isn't neat or tidy. And you'll see that when I do the sweet one I actually use a spoon instead so you can make your mind up as to which one you fancy. Give them six minutes in the donut maker and when they're done open it up and you will see your lovely savoury doughnuts. These ones, obviously the cheese oozed out a little bit, which did mean they stuck slightly, but we managed to crowbar them out with a spatula. And there they are, all lovely and cooked. And I just separated them up and made them photo worthy, which you'll see at the end. Next, we're gonna do the sweet mixture. So what we've got is one brambly apple, which I've pureed over the hob with a little bit of water. And I'm mixing that into the other half of the dough, which we made earlier. To that, I'm going to add some cinnamon. Again, no precise amount, just go crazy, add whatever you think according to your taste buds. Mixed all together, and to that, again, according to taste, I'm gonna add some sugar. I put about 50 grams worth in, which is fine for me. You may want it a little bit sweeter, it's up to you. Mix it all together. Again, you're looking for that lovely dropping consistency, and I'm gonna put it into the donut maker with a spoon this time, so much easier. In it goes, don't worry if you cover that center bit because it kind of gets punched out by the donut maker at the end. And what you want to do is bring it up just slightly above the level of the rings. Six minutes again in the donut maker and ta-da, there they are looking gorgeous. And they've oozed out a little bit, but as I say, you can always trim them up and make them look even more spectacular. Pop them out, let them cool, cover them in a bit of icing sugar and you have two sets of donuts, one savory, one sweet, both delicious.